in this part in forest menstruation part 6 in my previous lecture i told you i taught you about how to measure the height of a tree by ocular method this video lecture will be on the estimation of a tree height by non instrumental method so i'll be coming to methods of tree height measurement by uh, non instrumental method in my previous video lecture we learned about the ocular estimation we have done it now in this video lecture i'll be teaching you how to measure the tree height by non instrumental method so no tree is vertical actually but we have to when we take non instrumental method we have to assume it as a vertical so if it is not a vertical tree so non instrumental method doesn't give a good result so it is leaning from its main axis straight now when it is a per perpendicular to the ground or it is straight vertical then this non instrumental method is a reliable method we can take it but generally it doesn't happen but we assume it it is a straight and then we take it a non instrumental method now when we take a non instrumental method first method i'll be teaching about how to measure a height of a tree by a shadow method this is very very interesting by a shadow casting of a shadow of a tree we will uh, learn how to measure the tree height and uh, it is a relative accuracy will be going on the uh, geometrical method on this one so let's see how to measure it first of all uh, this in this method we take a pole this pole we take a pole this pole uh, we take of any convenient uh, length we can take and then this we will see the casting of shadow of this pole and casting of a shadow of a tree you can see in the back side there's a shadow of a tree so we will measure it how to measure it uh, a small uh, this diagram if you see this is a tree a b this is a tree height actual height is this a to b this is the actual height of a tree this is the actual height of a tree now this is a shadow here casting that is c to b is a shadow here this one so and this is a, a convenient uh, pole we will uh, put one pole while making a convenient pole uh, we will put in the ground and then we'll see the shadow of this one also so de is a pole length and this is fe is the pole shadow so we will put the value here tree shadow whatever the value of tree shadow will come we'll put it here we see into de de is the pole length here and fe divided by fe is a pole shadow here we will get the height of a tree by shadow method but this shadow method we should not do uh, in the middle like 11 or 12 pm when the sun is on the upright we should do in the early morning or we should do in the evening when shadow is casting long one let's see in the field as better to have a uh, demonstration uh, how to measure the tree height by shadow method So today we will learn how to take the height of a tree of a shadow method by shadow method. So you can see this tree, a uh, tall tree and you can also uh, see the shadow here. So the species is uh, Heritaria macrophylla. This method of shadow either you have to take in the morning hours or in the evening hours when the shadow is casting long enough first of all you have to take a pull of any convenient length like uh, I'm here going to take somewhat Someone a length of two meter. So what you do, you have to uh, erect it straight, somewhere straight. It should be perpendicular to the ground. Yeah, like this. It should be straight, so that you cast this shadow here, uh, and you have to take this as two meter. And we'll take how much the casting of uh, this shadow has the length. 
so we'll measure this one now if you see the shadow here you can see the shadow is casting here some way here and if we measure the length of the shadow okay it is 1.40 so we have a length of this uh, pole of 2 meter and the shadow is casting 1.40 so now is the time to measure the shadow of this uh, tree now what is the shadow of this tree from the base of the stump so let's measure the shadow of this tree from the base of the stump then we'll calculate the height of a tree by a shadow method so as dr singh is going to measure the uh, shadow of a tree so as already uh, dr singh has told that the pole length was two meter and the shadow of the pole uh, we got around uh, 1.40 so this is the formula as a height of a tree i told you a b to measure that one we need a uh, length of the and uh, then length of the pole and the shadow length so we are getting this uh, uh, pole length as two meter and some has inserted down above that one is two meter and we are getting this uh, uh, 1.40 as a shadow let's see what we are getting the shadow length as uh, dr singh is measuring that one the shadow length uh, yeah dr singh yeah 18 18 meter okay so we are getting 18 meter here 18 meter is the shadow length so this is very simple so we can calculate 18 into 2 divided by 1.4 it comes around 25.71 so this is the uh, height uh, of a tree by a shadow method so this way we can measure the uh, height of a tree or shadow method but uh, only the thing is uh, we can't do in a closed stand and it should be in early morning or uh, not in the cloudy days so just now we have seen that uh, demonstration how to measure the tree uh, by a shadow method so we got the values of a pole that was uh, two meter and we got uh, the uh, shadow length of a pole that was 1.40 and we got the uh, length of that uh, tree shadow that was 18 meter so 18 meter into 2 divided by 1.4 we got an uh, height of 25.71 meter so this this is we got by a shadow method uh, but there are some constraints as i say you have to apply on a clear sunny days this is very important because when there is a cloud we will not have shadow on cloud and it is also difficult to apply on a well stocked forest so when it is in the open it is easy but when it is a well stocked forest it is very very difficult we cannot take by a shadow method so that is the disadvantage in a shadow method in a forest so thank you very much keep watching my upcoming video lectures which I'll be telling you about how to measure the tree height by a single pole method in my coming lecture.